This is Kofi, the 2017 Stoli DJ Champion. And this is Hadia. I love music. Bad, 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 bad. And you're listening to Top 10 Talk. Brought to you by Going On Magazine. We're going on. Hey guys, we're going on. Great to see you again. This is Top 10 Talk, where we look at the set the charts top 10 for a particular week. Today we will be dealing with the week of September 25th to October 1st. Let's get to it. Yeah. No. yeah. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we... Sure Just go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have Never Leave Your Dogs Outside by Prod. Never leave your dogs outside. I never leave my dogs outside. No, no, no. Never leave your dogs outside. I never leave my dogs outside. Never leave your dogs outside. I felt bad when I heard this song because I immediately studied my six dogs at the outside the whole time. <laughs> um, but moving on from that retarded joke, um, it was a decent oh song gosh. for real. Like I actually did enjoy it. It was pretty positive, you know. You got you got got your brother back. It's nice to hear nowadays, especially not barbecue, just for the so much unnecessary violence that people still recognizing that they got friends and companions that you shouldn't leave behind. And you should, as you are pushing forward, it doesn't really hurt you to reach down a hand and bring somebody up with you. So the lyrics really did resonate with me. The flow, um, it could lose some work. I think that with practice, they probably could get far. Cause it really did it was a good message i know yeah i love the hook um i like the general message of the song as well you know having your people's back keep pushing because i think you do have the talent in the number nine spot we have fire you by martis carter featuring leah ellie there's a fire in you with the flame ever burning don't give in don't give in there's a fighter in you i was not expecting that voice nor that style when I saw the person on the artwork but I was pleasantly surprised nice smooth voice it was you know positive lyrics and stuff like that it's very encouraging um, in this day and age and we need to hear more from you so push through and big ups to Leah you know that spit bim 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 to quote my accomplice um yeah big up artist carter for sure i actually did really enjoy the song and um i'm not quite sure what's going to um art if you have a album or an ep or something coming up because i see you got the little p and the mark purpose what are you doing anyways <laughs> <laughs> so yeah big yourself for sure i really did enjoy the song the message was like I, I was in the dump for a couple of days now and like listen to that i i actually was like coming down yo yeah motivation Coming in, in the number eight spot, we have Fuja Bless by Tough Eye. Through ups and downs and twists and turns. Through the fire still I never been burned. Paid my shoes and my lessons I've learned. That's why I'm standing firm. Jai is my light and salvation. It feels like something I've heard several times before. I don't feel like the content of the song was original. I mean, it could have been, you could be motivated saying that. I don't know, but I just feel like you could define something more original to say. But one thing I can say, I did enjoy the fact that despite it being a reggae song, I didn't have to preach the same song we've been preaching week after week. I did feel a Bajan vibe from this song and I really do encourage you to keep up that Bajan authentic flow in your reggae music. Kudos on that. Okay, so the rhythm had me moving, that's the truth. And I find that I, I had a little Luciano coming through, it's like, it's like semblance. Semblance. Um, I would add this to my playlist. It, uplift, it has uplifting lyrics and a groovy beat. That's a win every time. Coming in at number seven, we have the intro by Millennial Yard Fall featuring Lil Frey. These doors before me never opened once before me. I stepped through on a path of glory. glory. About to show you an untold story. story. I'm a psycho, crazy as shit. Those harmonies in the back, the first that you hear, those are so sweet. Oh my gosh. Um, your name is so misleading, by the way. But anyhow, I did not expect this when I saw that name and the album art and everything like that. But I actually love the song. Your voice is awesome and versatile. There was a nice addition regarding the rap. It was good. It was, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it is. She, she honestly steal the words from me. Like, I didn't know what to expect. 
when they read Millennial Yard. Well, I, I was honest to God, just hoping that this is a nice piece of comedy. Like, like this, this is genuine comedy, but nah, it's a good song. It is honestly a good song. Like, pleasant, pleasantly surprised. I look forward, and this is the intro, I look forward to seeing things from you. In the number six spot, we have Monopoly by Young Ailey. Yo, young black nigga in poverty. That's me. Out here's like Monopoly. Come see. Let me say this from the get go. This is the best album work I've ever seen on this website. This album work art was so blasted hard. Like, as for the song itself, it was decent. I ain't gonna lie. You carried it in a completely different direction that I expected. But I still enjoyed the song. I really did. I am up in the air about this song. And I'm a bit confused because there's something that annoys me about the song off the bat, but then there's this sweet melodious mm. aspect of to it that had me like, yo. So like I was like, alright, I ain't really know what to do about this song. Um, otherwise there wasn't anything spectacular about it. But it was still played. So I'm real confused. The song reminds me of Mambo Rap. Which it I'm gonna assume it probably is. But I personally feel like it would have benefited from a more standard flow, if you get me. I do sometimes listen to Mambo Rap songs, like I kinda enjoy the Uzi's music, I kinda will mess with 21 Savage. But I just feel like it felt forced in a sense. I'm not quite sure if this is just your voice. It could be the future, not just whole future song. But yeah. I think with a just a regular flow, if you get me, with a more especially song for the end, me and Hadid, but, but once again, this album is so hard though. <laughs> Coming in in the number 5 spot, we have Hustling by the Two Good Gang. assuming that this is for a certain type of audience y'all are catering to certain people emulating certain styles that you were inspired by um, for me I think you need to be a little more original so yeah more originality um, I heard some vision coming through somewhere so that was really good I get what idea saying it feels like in some parts like some of the punchlines were forced like I get it you didn't have many money, but now you have money, so you're going to rap about having money. But I think like if you could find inspiration by something that actually affects you, it could reflect more in the music. Mm -hmm. Because these rappers are singing about money, it doesn't mean you have to. My thing wasn't only about the lyrics, but just the style the flow of on the music whole was... and the flow. It sounded like something that I would see I, from I don't, or right, I don't personally fault that because... Um, you got to pick and you got to pick it from somewhere. Yeah, there I understand, but then sound just like it, like. They probably heard uh, some songs. Was like, yo, I like this. I'm going to go and make this. Coming in at number four spot, we have "Burn" by Lee. Nothing bad I could say about this song at all. It reminded me a lot of Florence and the Machine, especially their song called Make Love. And I mean a lot. I sound you can ask anybody in this room, I just sound oh, for 30 seconds. Just trying to remember that. But this song, it just moving man, like crap. Like it, who produced this? Even the beat called the they just got this like progressive thing, like yeah. Yeah, I could I could like watch a, a DC film now and just play in the background and it would not know what this was a vision. It is not so proper. Girl, I love your voice and I love the genre. It had, uh, you're getting like a spiritual, jazzy, fantasy boy about it. But he said cosmic, that I think cosmic was probably the word I was mm -hmm. looking for. And I just love it. Um, just listening to you and seeing you on the album work is reminding me somehow of India Ari. But yeah. Yeah, this album are hard too. It's a Monopoly hard, yeah. but this album hard hard. I love it. I understand that you have one an EP that, that has three songs on it that just came out so I have to go search for that and two I understand you perform somewhere so people need to go and see you yeah you know get ID follow is what uh, Lanterns it is I don't know you do know I'm just saying watch you know, I, I think I think I heard it's at Lanterns on Fridays so as soon as that starts about being level in order 
Coming in at number three spot, we have Streets by Young Stunner featuring once again the two good gang. I've been grinding through these streets, yeah, my squad gotta eat. I do this for the family, hustling, that is me. Flow sick on the beat, blessings like a nigga sneeze. I got my team here with me, and we. It is actually catchy. The flow, I think, is the flow of the rapper in the song is catchy, and how he raised the rhythm is slightly addictive. Um, the beat reminded me of Fisher's Honest, which is one of my preferred songs from him. Is it me or a lot of the rappers that came out this week especially are mimicking that Influence by? style? Influence by? Your word, no problem. Easy. Right? So you're going to tell me off and down, it's not talking, talking? Cool. No. Uh, do you think, do you think, do you think? I think, I, I think that's why I'm noticing. They, they all sound the same. People, mm -hmm. originality. You know, continue. I watched a very long video today about music and how that's not necessarily imitating because Future did not come up with that style. Future got that style from someone and Future is using it. Future made that himself. Does that mean that Future is the, origin the originator? No, he's not a creator. Mm -hmm. They are just using it, they're trying to make it theirs. I don't agree, mind you, but I'm just saying, do you think, if you feel it, that's for you, if you think that you want to have some similar flow, you want to rhyme and triplets, if you want to do that, you want to do whatever you feel like doing, cool. We gotta do it good. You gotta do it better than anybody else that come before you. I'm not saying this is bad. The song was cool. It really was. Like I didn't. I don't have anything negative I could say about the song. However, it's not that memorable. You're just basically doing what the other rappers out there are doing, and you need to go within yourself and see what you can do. If, if you bring more of yourself into it, I think that it will be different. And it would go places but just doing all right so future's rap like this i like how future is rap and i even do this here like future mm -mm, mm -mm. this is every do rapper more. Everybody. this isn't just future i know this i was just doing that anywho go into yourself really study it and see what if you didn't listen to future who is young stunner what do I really want to present to the world? Because when you're doing art, it's supposed to be an expression of self. And unless your expression of self is just that, then, well, if that's it, well, you know. But if you're looking to go further, look into yourself. All right, to summarize, Hadea's rant. Just work on your identity, and I'm sure you can go for this. Mm. In the number two spot, we have Flay G, featuring J Blocks and Mike with Trust in Timing. Reminiscing. By the shit I used to do when I was broke She wasn't easy so I used to pray and hope For all the good things in life, never the bad Mama take care of her kids and got But I just feel like, you know, we've, we've done this This has been going on This money thing, There, there's much more for music I just honestly feel like It doesn't matter where you are in life There is something that truly motivates you There is something that truly inspires you to create art so I think you should focus on that thing. Whether it could be you mother met you the best tuna pace ever. I mean I would I would listen to that song gladly if I could feel it. Whatever can motivate you. You girl could look at you and you just like write a whole song about that one look, that one moment. Anything like this could inspire art. I just think like some of the men wanna go like work on what inspires you to create. What got you in the vast you no know, just thinking. What got you at home in the bed just thinking. We only toilet thinking about. Whatever your thinking spot is, and whatever your mind is on, is what you should try to create your own world around. The lyrics aren't too bad, but there's something about them that needs improving. I'm just saying the expression <laughs> needs to work, and you need to be a lot more creative with lyrics. Right. Continue, just work on it. Right. Go back to join, bro. Listen to what you're saying. Get honest, friends, because it's got some people that's be wrong. It's be like, are you that hard boy? Listen, you? You're right. If anybody listens to your song and only tells you, yes, it's song good, do not listen to that person ever again on an opinion with your music. You need to hear, yes, it's song good, but, or nah, but. Or because. Or even nah, because. Even nah. It might sound good because. Tell me what it sound good. Tell me Thank why you. about it. Thank you. Good. You gotta got find out what is good, what is bad, where you can improve. You cannot sit down and live your life only focusing on the people that are telling you yes. But yes, man, don't put you nowhere. Number, Number one. one, we have 
Famous to any with wind up your body. Wind up your body, girl, you wicked in a bed. Woman, them me love me, say ya, them me ya defend. Wind up your body, girl, your body in a bed. Wind your body, girl, wind your body, girl. Tell them when me love me, say ya, them me ya defend, you know. Look! Yo! Look! You're wicked, you're bad, you're riding the rhythm. You wild, big man. I love this song, like, can you tell? You know, walk up some grinds and everything nice. It was not the radio edit, but I don't care. Yeah, the rhythm and how you read it, it was on point. Um, I'm not vexed with this being number one at all. I love it. What about you? Um, I was here when Tadeo was listening to the song. I was like, oh shoot, this girl clearly it sounds a lot more than me. It wasn't. <laughs> all right, here tune. This song for girls to walk up. Clearly, he don't really. No, you know, no, he's not no. a girl. You even let me, you even let me explain myself. All right, you sorry, let me explain go myself. ahead. I just didn't really like. The beat, the beat didn't really do much to me. I know why. I was in my car for the morning and it just, it didn't, it didn't punch in with me. You get me? It didn't really move in with me. I didn't really feel it. I don't know if my car speaker is just jobby. Yeah, your, your car speaker but is jobby. But it really just didn't do anything for me. I thought the vocals was like, you said rough? Or you said wild? Wow. Yeah, I thought it was rough and I was like, yo, this man sounds like he would hurt someone. It, don't get me wrong, you know, I actually kind of think the song ain't bad. I said this, I get the purpose. You can play it next week, people. Come out. When you playing? You playing? Come and drum it every Friday if y'all actually want to hear me playing. I'm there every Friday. Because and you can play this song as possible. As, uh, I would. What is? Hot Little Mama? That one? Yeah. I would play it. I really would. <clears throat> but I, 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 every song ain't got to be for me. But clearly, you went here. Clearly. You have been watching Top 10 Talk. For selected charts week of September 25th to October 1st. Be sure to go on selectedcharts.com and listen to everyone's music, give the people your support, and push the music that you vibe with, push your friends, do what you feel like doing. Also, this is just me and Hadi's opinion, you know, like we ain't getting paid by people in suits to review these songs. So it's top 10 talk, so we want one of to talk to we and let us know in the comment section down below what you think about the same songs. Everyone know what's going on? Nigga.com is that simple. We have a very easy to use, straightforward visual magazine. Just turn to the pages, see what things going on, and we'll see what some of our events. Yo! Peace. Later. Later, bro. Later, sis. Out. No, I'm not. You must want to know. 20 want to know. Tell them when me love me, say you're the me, you're defending now. The whole, the fact that that is probably, I'm assuming his face on the really monopoly in my head would be. Mm -hmm. And then the different um, 12 pieces is different, the little remarks on them. Um, so instead, of, instead of um, go, is please proceed with caution or something like that. It was, it was like, yo, this man put time and effort into this album and that's something I love to see. And if you all are watching, I collect different types of monopolies, so... So since she a monopoly, but you say funny though. Since she a young lady monopoly. Yeah. Put me from free parking though. No, no. Don't, don't. No, no. Who's there? Interrupting Lane Paul. When Marty Brown, George. <laughs> Interrupting Lane Paul. Interrupting Lane Paul. <laughs> <laughs>